Once upon a time, there was a news anchor by the name of Barbie Bassett that worked at WLBT in Jackson, Mississippi on the morning show there. And in fact, it was his highest rated show at that news station. Well, she is no longer there anymore because on March 8th, or a little bit before then, she on air used the term for shizzle my now, for those of you guys who don't know rap, she basically quoted a Snoop Dogg song. And what it means in like English language is for sure my N word. So Snoop says for shizzle my izzle, right? And put the N on it. I feel like I can't even say it now, which I guess I probably shouldn't not that I think about it because it sounds like she got fired for saying it on the air. Now she was um, having a conversation with the other people there in regards to Snoop Dogg doing a collaboration with somebody else there, cause you know, he has a wine collection. And so then she chimed in for shizzle, ma, you know. So anyway, now some people are like, well, she's quoting the song, it's not that big of a deal. Snoop says it all the time. Then I guess, yeah, you could maybe low, 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 low key make that argument. However, sounds like uh, Barbie there has a history of saying some pretty racially suspect things like this. Check it out. Girl, sis, I know you well enough to know that those guys working behind you, they probably know who the celebrity game day picker is. So, you need to go swing by the Kroger's, get you a, a, a chocolate pie. The a chocolate pie. A chocolate pie. Well, pecan pie would be just as fine. And you need to go offering it to some of those guys working behind you. Get the scoop. And see if you can get the scoop from one of those <laughs> for, for return. I know your your mother or your grandmammy has got your some grandmammy. type of recipe that really? you could whip up, don't you think? Really, Take mom? it to them. Grandmammy? She got they about. might have a recipe or two. Go whip something up. So she said that a few years back to another anchor that was out there in the field. I uh, said, your grandmammy, have your grandmammy make a pie or teach you how to make a pie. And it's like, well, you know, we know when you say your grandmammy or your mammy, that's, you know, really to demean uh, a black woman, right? Because that's what they used to call um, our ancestors back in the day, a mammy, right? Now your grandmammy. And so I don't know when I heard her say that. It's like, yeah, I think she's just very loose with her tongue in being racist, right? She just says things that she thinks is cute. I guess she was, I don't know, trying to be cute or funny, cheeky, if you will, but it kind of caught up to her. So, yeah, it doesn't look like she's there anymore. But if you ask me, do I think she's wrong for saying it? Yeah, you know, and I know they put those lyrics in the songs, but, you know, uh, in our community, we have a saying, I could do it. But you can't do it. Now, I also want to clarify that we really shouldn't do it either. Um, and even in rap songs, because nowadays you hear everybody uh, playing songs with the N-word this, the N-word that. I remember one time I was at a uh, bank or ATM, rather, waiting to get my money out. And then a car pulled up behind me and I heard da -da 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 -da, the N-word, N-word, N-word. And I'm like, I turned around and it was a Mexican guy, you know, and it's like, hmm. Like, how do you feel about that? Because it's in the song, but then he's blasting it. So I don't know, right? So it would just probably behoove us not to make the music. But yeah, Barbie doesn't have a job because, you know, she thought she should be able to say that on the air on top of that. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.